And sir, what's up, baby? Please tell me the answer. What is going on today, baby? It is Scorpion Reds. I am back at it one time, one time for the remix. Yes, indeed, to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of mid August. That's right. August the 15th through the 31st. That's right, my loves. That is right. Shout out to everyone who has clicked this video. Big shout out to everyone who has made me aware of the issues on my booking page. So listen, you guys, um, there's something going on with my Simply Book Me page. Don't know what's going on. Um, I'm going to have to call technical support to get that rectified. But listen, if you guys have been trying to book with me and been having issues with my booking page because it's showing no availability, I am available um, on my About uh, page, on my YouTube uh, page. Only thing you need to do is either contact me on Instagram by sending me a personal message or you can contact me on Google Hangouts, which is um, scorpionreds at gmail.com. Just send me a message and say, hey, I would like to book a reading. I understand that there's some complications with the booking. Um, I'll just go ahead and we'll discuss the pricing or you can go ahead over to my Simply Book Me page and you can see what the price is um, and you could just go ahead yourself and just pay for your reading either on um, Cash App or PayPal, which those links are on the About tab too. So, um, like I said, either you can contact me and I'll send you, I'll tell you what the pricing is. And I'll send you the link if you let me know if you prefer Cash App or PayPal. And I'll send you the link for payment and we can go about booking that way. And since you're already communicating with me on um, Instagram Messenger or on Google um, Hangouts Messenger, as soon as you book your reading, we're going to do it live right there, live in a living color, okay? So, um, the same time that you book is the same time that you're going to get your reading because... I'm completely um, open right now because of the booking issue. So first come, first serve. When y'all book, y'all going to get y'all reading unless I got something else going on. But typically, anyone that books with me, they normally get their reading within 24 to 48 hours. You can ask anybody. Um, so again, thank you guys so much for making me aware. Like a few of you guys sent me some emails, but I didn't really take it seriously. <laughs> I was just like where are my bookings and they so was like they were saying it was issues so thank you guys again for just holding me down pop code 10 nigga code 10 letting the, letting the girl know this code 10 situation going on with my booking page so thank you so much to everyone um if there's anyone that wants to um support the page oh a new deck announcement bloop, bloop. okay y'all see that one right there Yes, indeed, the musical oracle deck. Thank you again to everyone who has been liking, sharing, and subscribing, and sending a dollar or two ever through PayPal, through Cash App, um, sending uh, gifts through the Amazon wish list. You guys have been sending some amazing decks. And oh, what else did I just recently get? I just got this deck as well through Amazon wish list. So thank you guys so much for all of the love and support and you guys will see me rolling out um these new decks as the new content comes along thank you guys so much so um the first way that you can support the page of course is by hitting the like button and if spirit moves you to um send some more support again there's the amazon wish list there's the cash app and there's the paypal link on my about tab and you guys can feel free to support um whenever you know the spirit moves you and again i thank you guys so much for all of um the love and support and thank you so much for coming here and to have love laughter and inspiration here at scorpion reds um if you guys watch the morning slide and y'all like to cut up with me in the morning on the morning slide feel free to check out my merch uh page as well so you can get your morning slides uh mug and you can sip your tea with me in the morning all right so um cancer let's get into the energy today let's find out the answers to what's going on in your situation okay father god thank you so much for bringing us here today thank you so much for i just heard loneliness okay that's concerning all right um Someone said, I don't want to feel lonely. So, Father God, um, we're going to address that today. We're most definitely going to address that. Father God, thank you for pulling us up. And even sometimes in our own communities where we don't feel like we got that love and support. And just people that understand us. 
thank God for the internet and the fact that we have these communities where we can reach out and talk to people and feel loved and feel supported and understand that there are people that are going through the same struggles, the same trials, the same tribulations that we are, you know. Everything that's happening in our life has purpose and it's divinely guided. And God wouldn't put you through nothing that he didn't feel that you weren't strong enough to handle in the name of Jesus. Father God, thank you for allowing us to connect because I resonate with that, um, especially as a water sign, feeling lonely sometimes. And you know what? We're never really lonely. Just in our mind, we feel like we don't have anybody to support us. And in reality, we have a lot more people that love and will die for us and will, will protect us. More than you realize, but I definitely understand that feeling of like you got your back against the wall and you don't have no support. You got to figure this out all alone. And I really do feel like um, the energy that I just received is um, someone needs someone to talk to to kind of figure their way out of a situation and they just feel lonely like. No one understands them. It's certain things that they just wouldn't talk about with these people regardless. Like, they just don't feel like they have someone that they can reach out to. And by the grace of God, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 uh, that's why I do what I do. That's what I do what I do. And if there's anybody that experiences that by the loneliness that I'm feeling right now, Y'all know my email, scorpionreds at gmail.com. I'm always here for you. And if 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 don't nobody understand what a cancer goes through, trust me, Scorpio understands it. So I just thank you so much, Father God, for us connecting and us being together because each one teach one. And Lord knows I got enough love to share. I got enough love to share. So if you need somebody to love on you and to give you some words of inspiration and just listen to you, I'm always here. I'm always here. Do not feel that you don't have nobody. Always feel like you can email me. Because God is my best friend. And me and him, we going to work it out with you. You understand what I'm saying? So, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us together. Thank you so much for the healing. Thank you so much for reminding us to keep our head up as we're dealing with these life situations, Father God. I really do feel like there's a heavy burden on cancer right now. I really do feel it. Um... Cancer, please give us the answers right now to what's going on so I can figure out a way to help you um, in this transition in your life. Um, I really do feel like it's something that you're having to release and let go. And I don't think it's something that you can maneuver around. You got to go straight through it. And I think that's what y'all are looking for someone to help you to figure out how to get around this situation. You can't. You can't. You have to. You have to go through it. You have to go through you you have to go through it this time. So, Cancer, Father God, please give me guidance for my lovely, lovely cancers, my water signs. Please keep us highly elevated. Please keep us highly motivated. Please keep us centered, grounded, and surrounded by people who genuinely love us, who genuinely want to see us win. That's why they feel alone. Father God, give me guidance for my, my cancers. Give us the answers for my cancers, Father God, for August the 15th through the 21st. Thank you again for all the blessings and the lessons that you've given us in the past, present, and future. Thank you again abundantly. Let me get this out of here. I hate it when my candles be bullshitting, bruh. Let me put me another candle here. And excuse me, y'all. Let me go and call my children down. Um, I can hear you guys. Okay. Okay. You like my candle? Let's get up in this. Let's get up in this, y'all. Let's get up in now. Yes, lie. All right. Ooh. Should I head to that? Joni Mitchell never lied. Okay, let's see. We're going to see what tune, what type of beat, and what type of tune our energy is going going through or what it will be going through uh oh they say a severe storm is coming it's a severe storm warning that's what just popped across my phone oh y'all got michael jackson who's bad dun, 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 your butt is mine 
<laughs> that was my favorite part. Your butt is mine. Y'all know when we was young and that shit came out, any bad little words, you be like, ooh. <laughs> that was my part. Anyway, this is Michael Jackson. Being unusual is not enough. You must be remarkable. Come on, father. It says remove yourself from contact with the ordinary. Didn't I kill y'all? I just told y'all. Watch the people that you are surrounding yourself. You not like them, baby. You don't fit in with them. And that's why you bumping heads with them. That's why y'all not getting up. You don't. It says the world is the dance floor of the creator. Baby. Baby. Cancer, you already know the answer to this. This card ain't telling you nothing motherfucker wrong. You is not like the motherfuckers that you been around. You done elevated far past them. So it's like. This is like Bill Gates hanging around Marcy Projects with a whole bunch of street thugs. Nigga, Bill Gates, Bill, Bill Gates ain't got no, <laughs> do you understand his aspirations, his, who he is, it doesn't resonate with Marcy Projects or anybody in Marcy Projects. Not saying that there's not no good people in Marcy Projects, but you're not going to catch no Bill Gates hanging out in front of Marcy motherfucker Projects. So why are you still there? You understand what I'm saying? This is like someone that is far greater than their environment and than what they're surrounding themselves around. But they constantly surrounding themselves around shit and then wondering why their life ain't shit. You understand what I'm saying? You don't belong there anymore. You've elevated. This is your dance floor. The world is a dance floor of the creator. It's time for you to dance to a different... You're fucking Michael Jackson. Do you understand? The greatest, the greatest of all time. Who the fuck can they ever say is better than Michael Jackson? Prince? No. R. Kelly? No. Who else is, is, is a great that they consider a great? Shit, I love Stevie Wonder, but they don't even speak, they don't speak uh, on Stevie Wonder's name above Michael Jackson. Bitch, you're Michael Jackson. <laughs> like, I need you to look in the mirror and respect yourself as Michael Jackson. Bitch, who's bad? Okay, who else did turn the world out with the moonwalk and had everybody wearing black and, black and red leathers? Okay. Y'all about to stop playing with me. Again, being usual is not enough. You must be remarkable. You're not in the arena for you to be remarkable. These people are not going to let you. It says remove yourself from contact with the ordinary. You're not that. You're not ordinary. Stop trying to fit in a place that you just don't fit in, baby. It's like a carton of, of white eggs and this one brown egg in there. Of course they're going to make fun of you. Of course they're going to make you feel like you're different. Of course they're going to make you feel like your brown complexion versus their pearly white ordinary ass complexion something wrong with you no baby this is organic farm raised free range eggs bitch i was what what, what? do you know how much brown eggs is in the grocery store excuse boy mm -mm. Mm -mm. neverland the more and more the more and more that you keep trying to get a thrill hanging around the ordinary you're gonna be stuck in neverland Neverland. It's child's play. It's time to grow up. And it's time for you to be who you are. It's time to dance, baby. Bala. Bala. It's time to dance, baby. Bala. Okay? And reload it. Alright, give me guidance for my cancers. What's the answer? Hold on, he said, Billy Jean is not my lover. That's what I'm hearing. She's just a girl that one that I never want. And the kid is not my son. That is fucked up. Why did that song pop in my head? Out of all Michael Jackson songs. This is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse in the judgment. It looks like 
Cancer is not willing to put work into something anymore. I feel like they finished a project wherever they were. And instead of like making 10 pinnacles, they felt like it was only worth to produce eight. Like, yeah, that's good enough for them. You know what I'm saying? It's like, even though, and remember the eight of pinnacles in reverse could be someone that's not really giving a fuck about their reputation. Like this is a crafter. This is a craftsman that might be selling janky furniture or some like you know what i'm saying some bullshit a janky salesman but this person don't care it's like just give me my money like you'll find out it's some is shit gonna break in like <laughs> like three months by the time you figure out that shit some bullshit i'll be off in another city somewhere getting me some money somewhere else you understand what i'm saying so i feel like to some extent that cancer could have been out there being a janky salesman, like maybe boasting itself up to be something that they are not or something that they couldn't produce. You understand? And I feel like you might be called to judgment to kind of face the karma for your actions of not putting your all in somewhere. I'm not caring how it made you look. Because at the end of the day, if cancer would have just put a little bit more effort, you see the quality of their work. You see the quality of their work. Anybody would buy that. Anyone would, would buy that. But what you did is you made one good product and you set it in the front of your store. And everybody that walked by, they thought that they was going to get that. When you didn't put your whole Ten of Pentacles effort in like the front piece, like the store piece. Like, what's on the mannequin? What you were selling to people was not actually what you were promoting or what you were trying to prompt them to buy. And I really do think that you guys are having to answer for that. There's some karmic judgment. Like, you... Like, I feel like two years ago, maybe someone might have thought that they had got away with being a janky salesman. Like, spirit scene, all of that shit. They're like, oh, no, 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 no. Watch out, little bitch. Bring your little ass here. Come here. Bring that ass here and bring that shit that you have been trying to sell people. Bring that shit here so I can look at that shit. Bring that shit here. Come on. Come on. Uh -uh, uh -uh, I don't hear that. Bring that ass on. Bring that ass on. <laughs> you are being called. It's like you are being arisen from the dead about something that you did like a long time ago. And you're going to have to answer for trying to... Sell people false goods. Hmm. Mm. It's like you were looking for recognition. It's like you wanted the praise and the recognition of like a top salesman of a. You wanted the praise and recognition of a Michael Jackson. But you was putting Tito Jackson effort and no disrespect to Tito because Tito, that's my man. That's my, <laughs> that's my whole ass man. Y'all remember the Michael Jackson, the American Dream story? That was my nigga Tito, right? Anyway, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Anyway, anyway, okay, everybody love Tito too. But Tito wasn't motherfucking Mike, nigga. Tito ain't, ain't, ain't put the work in like my nigga Mike did. And I feel like... You know that now. It's like, you, you know that, oh... I feel like you're making fast move. Yes, you're making fast movements to change the judgment and justice. Boy, let me try to tell you. Let me try to tell you, my friend. Let me tell you, my friend. Let me tell you what's going on right here, okay? Let me tell you what's going on. So, I feel like you guys feed off of attention. And, unfortunately, it's negative attention. Like, the type of attention that you like, that you like isn't good attention. It's not good attention because the attention that you're getting attention from is not the right type of people that's going to propel you towards where you want to be at this Michael Jackson level. Being unusual is not enough. You have to be remarkable. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it's like, yeah, you have some unusual, unique goods and stuff like that. And when you put it in your storefront, everyone was willing to buy it. Right? But what you put on your storefront was your remarkable product. Was remarkable. That's what real people in. But you cannot. It's like you perpetrating the fraud. Do you understand what I'm saying? Janky ass sales 
man. People wanted Michael Jackson, but you came out on stage and they got Tito. And motherfuckers didn't like that. People want their money back. People want their money back. Do you understand what I'm saying? Not only that, I really do feel like it has sold your reputation. Whereas though where you were getting a lot of attention, you might not be getting any attention at all. And the attention that you are getting is bad attention because everyone is talking about you being a janky ass salesman. And the fact that you were being called to court. You know what I'm saying? Like this is like a class action lawsuit or something. Like every goddamn person that bought whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? Like they bought a limit off of you and now everyone is talking and they're like, oh, you bought something from cancer too? I bought this shit a month ago. You know, it's I only went around the corner and this shit broke down. What? Well, mine ain't was that fucked up. It took like a couple weeks, like maybe a month, but shit, I'm still out of a car. And now everyone is like about to do this clax action lawsuit where you're being called to judgment. You are being called to answer for your wrongdoings. And attention that you're getting is not the attention that you want if you're getting any attention of, at all. And I really do feel like with this Ace of Swords that you guys are being battling with some level of inner truth. It's like why when I commit myself to something. It's like I get really excited about it at first. But then it's like the passion kind of dwells off. And I don't produce what I was intending to produce. And I feel like this Ace of Swords is like. You wanting to cut out that lazy behavior. It's like you want the money. It's like you got the hustle in you when you think that you're about to get the money. But once you get the money, like once someone make that down payment or something and look, you go spend it all up drinking, partying. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really do feel like this might be someone with a drinking problem or substance abuse problem. Sus substance abuse problem for real, for real, for real, for real. Not only that, it's just in a lot of it is because. Your life isn't going the way that you wanted it to. And I feel like maybe that's why you feel like you got a quick scam and hustle people. I really do feel like this is someone that's like scamming or hustling people out of their money. Hustling people out of it's like an all about attention and fame, admiration. The glitz, the glamour, and everything. But as soon as you get it, it fades away. Not only you drink and smoke it up as soon as you get it. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, the Knight of Wands, like you start off fast and furious. But as soon as your high kind of uh, comes down or it starts good, but it ends bad. That's, I mean, that, that's all I'm going to say. Because the Knight of Wands... It's a good looking, it's an energetic and a vivacious person, but they start something that they can't finish all the time. Like that is a very bad trait of the Knight of Swords. They'll get you all amped up and excited about it. And they'll do a really good job in the beginning, but once that adrenaline wears, wears off, so does their passion for whatever it is they're doing. And they'll start a project and then once they... Feel like their passion is not into it anymore even though that they're not done they'll leave that half-assed project where it is and it'll go start another and completely forget about that do you understand what i'm saying but you might have already collected the money for this and now these people are like where's my product you promised me this so it's like and you got several people saying this so it's like i feel like it's several people saying the same thing about the same person. And now there's going to be some karmic justice about this. Because beggars can't be choosers. Do you understand what I'm saying? I really do feel like you came in the game just wanting people to listen to you. Just wanting people to give you a chance and everything. And it's like they did that. They honored you in that way. And then you turned around and dishonoring them by scamming them and frauding them out of their money, out of their time, out of their emotions, out of their generosity. Like, that's what this person was doing. And this person is in a very big karmic debt with the universe. 
nothing goes unseen. Just know that. So there's going to be some justice. There's going to be some straightening here. But the thing where I can say cancer is doing good, I, like they, they, they understand their wrongs. And I don't feel that they're not faced it. They're not backing down. It's like I really do see them like, God, I was in a low place when I was doing this. And I really do think that that has to do, it was like they was at a low place and they needed the money. Like they needed a place to stay. They needed some food. They needed the job. Like they needed whatever the fuck it was. Do you understand what I'm saying? But I just don't think that they knew how to appreciate it and respect it. And that's why like you got the fame that you were asking for, but you shitted on us. And not only did you make a fool of yourself, but you made a fool of me and everybody else who trusted you. So, I believe Cancer, because Cancer sent this bird out to figure out what people are saying about them, how people feel about them, how people are talking about them. And I don't necessarily think that they like what they're, they're saying, what is being said about them. That's why they're damn near drinking and smoking themselves to death. And I don't, I don't think that cancer is eating. Because you see this man is eating right here. I don't think can I think cancer has been drinking, smoking, and has not been drinking any water, hasn't been eating. I just heard ain't been washing their ass. Like, for real. Like, it's, I feel like there is. Yeah. I feel like cancer just wants this to be over quick fast in a hurry you know what I'm saying it's just like they might be waiting on a court date or some shit like that and they just want it to be over with like they don't mind standing up in court and saying look I know what I did and I'm willing to but see cancer is willing to everybody that they owe something to even if they got a janky product they're like willing to you know I can produce quality work I'm willing to go back to the table back to the draw board and Build you what I told you I was going. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to reupholster your sofa. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I feel like whoever this cancer is does a lot of odd jobs. But they're very fucking good at what they do. They're very talented. Very talented. But I feel like cancer lost their way somewhere. It's like something about this attention and this gratification and all. Like their head really got filled up with that shit. Towards the way it went bad. It went bad, and then we're adding on the substance abuse thing, right? It's like, no. The seven of hearts. Rihanna, okay? Oh, Nana, what's my name? Oh, Nana, what's my name? Hmm. The seven of hearts. I feel like... This means to wait. I believe it means to wait. If you had it once, you could have it again. I believe it's like whatever it is that you lost or whatever your reputation is, I believe this karmic justice. It's like as long as you pay your debt to society, You'll have a second chance to get this attention, this admiration, this glorification the way you wanted it. Like, it, 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 it'll change. But it's like you have to pay your debt to society for what you've done. I don't see any jail time. Because you see this person is begging for forgiveness. You see the, the two people at the bottom. Is begging for forgiveness. You understand what I'm saying? And this is the two different sides of the cancer. This is how cancer came into the game. Begging, poor, just wanting the glorification. and want someone to respect their art and their craft and their ability. And this is the cancer that got the fame and the glory and the gratification. And didn't appreciate it. And didn't remember when they were here. You understand what I'm saying? Hmm. Beggars can't be choosers. I feel like what you had before, it'll come back to you, but you got to pay your debt to society and you got to show 
you got to balance the comic skills and show that you've actually learned from this whole experience. The Joker. Oh. That is... Because, like, the Jokers in this deck, one is a man and one is a woman. I look at that as a divine feminine and divine masculine. Rihanna and Beyonce and the Joker. I feel like this definitely has something to do with a, a do-over in love. This has to do with a do-over in love. Let's clarify these cards, y'all. Let's clarify these cards just to make sure I ain't tripping. Yeah, I told you. I'm so glad I'm starting to remember the cards. The seven of hearts. Peaceful surroundings. Healthy, steady improvements. Happy surroundings. The cycle of life. A second chance. The opportunity to redo something. Things that come in two. So like I told you. Oh, na na. Oh, that's my name. Cancer is just praying. Because he's not. He or she is not being recognized. They're not getting attention. They're not getting the gratification that they once got. And it's like, I know I fucked up, but I just don't want these people to remember my name. Remember the goodness that I did come to the table with because it's not lost. Like, just give me a, a chance to, to show you, you know what I'm saying, that I can do this. The solar plexus represents... I do. The flow of energy through your body. I, I think that this time the cancer knows exactly what they need to do. They know what they did wrong. I feel like they could have possibly lost their divine feminine. And she is just as beautiful. Look at her with all them flowers and stuff like that. Whoever this person is, is like that orange in the back. That's that solar plexi chakra. Uh, yeah, the solar plexi chakra is like this person feels the cancer inside and out this person understands and knows the cancer i just feel like cancer lost their way in regards to this attention in regards to the amount of work that they were putting in on certain things it could have been scattered energy you know what i'm saying like i said scattered energy with this knight of wands it was like they would get passionate and put all their energy in on one project and then get sidetracked because something else was giving them attention and they would leave that project and go to another project and you understand what i'm saying and it's like they fucked up in multiple arenas because it's a lot of unfinished business Boom. It's a lot of unfinished business with this Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts, I typically take the Queen of Hearts as cups, as a water sign. So this cancer could have possibly been dealing with another water sign. They dangerous. Oh, I heard dangerously in love with you. I'll never leave. Just keep loving me the way to love you. Loving me because I'm dangerously in love with you. Okay. Dangerously in love. Dangerously in love. Wow. Hmm. Give me guidance over here on this justice call. Ooh. Ooh. God damn, god damn. I do like green eggs and ham. I do. Look, cancer ain't motherfucking playing. <laughs> cancer said, look, I know I fucked up, but listen, I need you to say, oh, no, nah, no. Nah. Oh, that's my name. Give me one more chance, baby. I need you to say, it's like. I think cancer, whoever cancer is dealing with, the court of law, karmic law, that's God. Cancer has been talking to God and just like, I just need one more chance. I need one more chance. Whoever this is, that they consider this queen of hearts, their Beyonce, the Jay-Z and their Beyonce, I feel like this person nurtures them, loves them to buy feminine nurtures them loves them knows them inside and out and even when the cancer is feeling down and like they're not able to pull through and get certain projects and something done it's something about the energy with this bjork right here with this joker card like this girl has so much fucking faith in the cancer and or you know these women energies is the female cancer 
You understand? Like this woman has so much faith and know how and knowledge and really knows how to nurture something back to life. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's emotionally attentive, emotionally aware, emotionally catering to whatever the situation is. So whatever it is can be fulfilled. And as you can see with this nine of cups in reverse, this cancer is not fulfilled. It's not emotionally fulfilled. Honestly, it feels like they took a big loss. A big loss. Based off of the way that they were moving. Based off of their inconsistency. Based off of them not able to keep their fire burning for whatever reason. Because I feel like they got distracted. They got distracted. I feel like putting their hands in too many pots. And they might have realized that they had overwhelmed themselves. That they couldn't give adequate attention to every project. And then all of them fell to shit. And now everybody's complaining that cancer didn't do what they promised them to do. But this queen, excuse me, let me close my door. You guys, I'm recording y'all too loud. Anyway, so, um, anyway, I feel like this person just would like one more chance to be able to make things better. This six of clubs right here, this is like a disbanding of a work relationship. So, I feel like the justice right here is like, um... You can no longer do that type of work anymore. What you will have to do, every last project that you started, you need to go back to the drawing board and you need to create them a whole new whatever it is and you need to settle this. But then after that, you're no longer to work in that industry no more. <laughs> and kids are like, what? Wait, what you mean? What? You, what, what? what the fuck? <laughs> what? Run that by me one more again. You heard me, motherfucker. You can't. You already fucked up your reputation in doing that. So what I need you to do, you're smart. Listen, nine of diamonds, you're smart. You're ingenious. You, anything that you put your mind to and put your passion into and keep it there, you can pull off anything. I believe in you. Did you say she believed in you? If I, if I believe in you, this is God talking. And you keep talking to me about her. If she believed in you, why you don't believe in yourself? It's like, I, I don't know, for some reason, this cancer feels like he needs this energy. Like, this loving energy from this queen of hearts, from this Beyonce. Like, he needs his Beyonce in order to... It's like he feeds off of this person's energy for some reason. But that's not good. You shouldn't feed off of people's energy like that. You shouldn't feed off people energy like that. But I'm trying to tell you, like, Cancer is going to be a little bit shocked. But they're going to be able to put it together. It's like, I don't know why Cancer doesn't have some belief in itself about... I, I don't I don't get that. Like, I really don't get that. It's like everyone else sees that Cancer can do this but the fucking Cancer. And I don't understand that. It says the Six of Clubs is genuinely a card of movement, progress, completion in a business or social matter. Like I told you, whatever that business was that had went wrong, Spirit is making... It's time to close and to balance out those karmic debts. Do you understand what I'm saying? Whatever social matters, whatever the fuck people been talking about that was making you look bad, you have to wrap it up. It says an opportunity to resolve a problem, taking responsibility for a problem or a situation and doing whatever is necessary to ensure its success. Um, uh, communication, sharing one's thoughts and ideas, negotiating, banter, talk, and other forms of communication, including hand gestures, body language, the media. The written word, good counsel, trusted advice, knowledge, reading, studying, learning. So like I said, good counsel, reading, studying, learning. Like you learn from this situation. And like the court of law wasn't too hard on you. They, like really, you got away with it. It's just like. Let's let's let, let, let's fix this up. Let's clean this up. You don't like the way people talking about you. If you don't, if you don't want people talking about you in a negative in a negative way, don't get them something to talk about. And that's exactly 
what spirit told him. The nine of diamonds. Even though you're a little bit shocked and you don't know how to feel about this because you see this orange. You don't know how to feel about this. Spirit telling you, you can no longer go back to that trade no more. You can't. Because it's been like, but I'm good at this. You're good at fucking shit up. You understand what I'm saying? You're not good at this. Do you understand? You're good at conning people. So what you mad? Because I'm telling you, you can't con people no more. No, no, no. I'm good. No, I understand what you're saying. Then you say you want a chance to redo some shit over. So how the fuck you mad? Because I'm telling you, you can't con people no more. I don't know. You know, I'm just, you know, I'm just a creature of habit. Exactly. And you about to break that habit. Just like I told you, you about to stop that shit. It's going to make you feel better. Don't you see that? The, the rhythm and blues in the back. You see that shit? But do you like this shit or something? Like, would, would you like people talking about you in a bad way? Like, I don't get it. Just know God ain't going to play with you. God don't have time for your foolishness, cancer. The nine of diamonds, especially they're giving you, they're literally letting you get away. Not get away. I mean, you're, but you're literally kind of getting away with a tap on a fucking wrist. The nine of diamonds is an extra money, a check, a bonus, the brain, mental energy, psychic ability, imagination, electricity, el electromagnetic energy, others, people, wishes, and desires that affect or influence you. Baratic, wait, it says fame, celebrity, public office, baratic tape when surrounded by um favorable cards so like i told you that attention that you were so wanting that got you in all of this trouble you can't do that no more because that's what got you in all this shit to begin with so don't sit there and look stunned well what you mean i can't do i can't no the fuck you can't no you worrying about all that motherfucking attention and bullshit you putting your hand in this pot and that pot and that pot and that pot and that pot that's what got you like what why are you looking confused? I feel like cancer. They're happy because. They're allowed to change their social standings. But they're not happy about the fact that they can't do the old shit. That, they, that they've been doing for years to get over on people. You can't do that shit no more. It's time to grow the fuck up. Like I'm giving you. <laughs> I'm giving you some mental energy. I'm giving you a bonus. You understand? You walked away. Not only did I not send your ass to jail for what you did, but you're asking for a second chance of reprieve, and I'm granting you that. Make right moves, Cancer. Do you understand what I'm saying? Being unusual is not enough. You have to be fucking remarkable. Remove yourself from contact with ordinary people. Baby, she ain't ordinary. She the one that believed in you the whole fucking time. But you didn't see her worth. You didn't see her as your divine feminine. You didn't see the facet and different levels of beautiful qualities that was in her. You wanted attention from everywhere. From everywhere. Everywhere. You know now. That was the beginning of the end. That. You wanting this. You wanting that praise and that gratification from everywhere. Was the beginning of the end. Of this. And you know that. You searched. You found out. And you realized. You made a very costly mistake. And spirit is giving you a second chance. Be thankful for it. Don't be sitting there looking stupid. Be thankful. Be grateful. And it looks like they're giving you a little extra money so you can go over there and, and do what you, you, you get your shit together. You wanted the second chance. God has given to you. Don't blow it. All right. Let's find out what's going on. What's going on with the seven of hearts, the joker, and the queen of hearts. Let's see what's going on. Let's give Cancer some answers. Ooh, the moon. There's like a big, there's like a big wave of like fantasy and illusion. Like I feel like this cancer has been daydreaming about this queen. 
has been daydreaming about this queen a lot. They've been going through, mo like, I feel like this cancer has gone through cycles with this person. And it's most definitely some unfinished business here. Um. Ooh, yeah. The grave. Yeah, this person, this person, their divine feminine, she's done with, with, with cancer. She's done with cancer because cancer needed. Cancer was being toxic. You understand what I'm saying? Cancer was in a state of delusion thinking that it was something better. It was something better. And now you. Let me clarify. Come on, y'all. 32. 32. The moon. Cycles, shadow, unforeseen, dreams, delusion, fantasies, revelations, fears, emotions, nurturing, affection, creativity, um, promotion, cycles of lives, dreams or shadowy situations, being intuitive or psychic. Like, it's like, I feel like cancer, they know, I feel like that's why they've been asking God. Like, please just grant me a second chance. They know deep in their soul that this person closed the cycle with this person. With the cancer permanently. This person said ashes to ashes, dust to dust. This one said I will not continue. I'm not, I'm not entertaining it. I'm not entertaining it. Yeah, I'm not entertaining this gentleman. I'm not entertaining this. It's like I love him, but I love myself. And a child might have something to do with a child. Hmm. Let's get over here to the six of. No, give me one more after that child. Oh, and give me an. Yeah, it's like. It's like, okay. So, the lilies, I f this represents, like, to me, commitment, someone paying their respects. Like, this is something that, like, I look at this as, like, a reef that you putting on, like, a casket or some shit. Like, that, you know how people lay flowers on a casket or something like that? I really do feel like, intuitively, this woman... Knew she had to end this shit with this person because either this person was real childlike or this person had a child somewhere else or something like that. But it could be that this person was acting like a fucking child. Acting like a fucking child. And this woman just wanted peace and harmony. This person wanted commitment. And they had to use their wisdom and kind of pay their respects to the situation. Ooh, the snake. The snake represents the other woman. The, <laughs> Ooh! The snake, the clouds, and then the sickle. Yeah, it's a good possibility that this cancer might have had a child by another woman. And that's why we have to pay these respects. Ashes to ashes to dust to dust. I'm not going to... I'm not going to do that. This is blurred vision. This is dilemmas. This is stagnations. This is problems. How can I go forward with you and you're slipping around being a snake? Look, do you understand what I'm saying? That's why this cancer has been begging, been begging for the second chance with the seven of hearts right there. Big time. But y'all know this comes up in every damn reading. All right, so. Six of clubs, nine of diamonds. Clarify. Oh, what's this? The tree. The tree. So what this represents is your mental health. I really do feel like all of that drinking and that drugging and stuff like that is kind of catching up to you guys. The tree does represents growth. You understand what I'm saying? Your roots. I feel like your foundation you see how it's all that water around it? I really do feel like you guys need a detox. 
you need a detox you need to drink more water you're not drinking enough water and not only that like it says you need to seclude yourself from these ordinary ass people that don't have the same wants the same goals as you the locket you need to seclude yourself not only get your health together drink more water but I feel like you really need to sort out things in regards to matters of the heart and your emotions. Do you understand? What is this? The ring? Yeah, you definitely want to offer commitment here. The number 25. I feel like you guys, you're trying to get yourself together. You're secluding yourself. I don't even think Cancer is with anybody right now. I feel like Cancer is alone. And that's why I remember in the beginning of the reading, I heard something about being lonely. I feel like Cancer has been going through. And then the lady. And then the lady. They most definitely, um, they're alone. They're dealing with sorting out the repercussions from the karma. Because like I told y'all, the justice and judgment, that's all about karmic debts. Karma. You understand what I'm saying? What goes up must comes down. What goes up must comes down. I feel like the cancer is listening to what God has to say and is secluding itself and trying to get their life together, their health, and their mind. Their mind. And that's why they need to drink more water. Like, don't drink no liquor. Only fucking water. Don't drink no soda. You need to drink water. You understand? Pure, pure water. You need a detox. Because it's like right here, it's like you really cherish this one. You cherish her. You cherish her. You see her for who she is now. And it's like, what is this? Interrogation. Yee, the temperance card. You feel like, I don't think you're ready to be interrogated. Because this one, like I said, she, she rolls off her intuition. You can't hide no secrets from her. I'm getting some high priestess energy from this one with that moon being right there. I feel like this one already knew the secrets and stuff lurking in the shadows. She didn't even ask no questions. She just got rid of you. She just got rid of you. This cancer is scared of the interrogation. I feel like this cancer is really scared of this person's voice. What this person has to say. I really do feel like the cancer is trying to regain their spiritual beliefs in that. Because like I said, this woman believed in him and his ability more than he believed in his own self. And this cancer needed... To feed off of this person's energy in order for this person to make way. And now that this person is not around, not only is he scared, he or she is scared of the interrogation and how they going to hold up. Like, fuck court. How am I going to hold up in court against this one? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not that he, ain't, you know, he or she ain't scared of God or what God got to say. But I feel like. Cancer is more so feeling fearing this energy than this one over here. You know what I'm saying? It's like the interrogation because it's like I don't even know what I'm gonna I'm say for myself. Like I don't feel like you're healing, sharing. Like Cancer has to. I really thought, why can't I feel like Cancer ain't eating? Like you lose, you lost a lot of weight. I feel like y'all not healing well. I really do feel like y'all might be going through some sickness or something. Y'all not eating. You're not eating. And you're not healing right because you're not drinking enough water. You're not eating appropriately. If you're not eating right, you're not thinking right. You're not being right. You have to take care of your body cancer. Listen. And you're not ready to share. It's like you praying for the second chance, but you're not ready yet. Look, you see her? You're not ready. You're not ready to face her. All right. Ooh, 
patience. And as you can see, there's a pregnant woman. So I really do feel like you guys are expecting a baby. You already seen that child up there. I feel like you got one more month. Or whoever you're dealing with is probably about like seven months pregnant right now. That's what it's about. You don't want her to ask no questions about that fucking baby. Trust. Hmm. One more. Past lives. Wow. Wow. I feel like... I really do feel like the cancer, I, I don't think the cancer feels strong enough to fight for what it is that they want. It's like they're asking God for a second chance, but it's something about them having to be patient and um, and, and let's take the baby out of the situation because not everybody's expecting a baby. But y'all see why I'm saying that? I mean, come on now. Um, I mean, y'all see why I'm saying that? Come on now. Okay? Anyway, so um, let's take the baby out of the situation, right? I feel like the cancer is not ready to share just yet because they're still trying to think about what they're going to say with this, you know, this temperance in reverse. I feel like they still have to go through and deal with their shadow side. Cause it's like, how can I explain to someone why I did what I did when I don't even know why the fuck I did what I did? You know what I'm saying? It's still some issues with inside of them that they're needing to heal for their self. And it's like, I, I'm not in a position where I can share what was going on with me. Cause I'm still, being patient, trying to figure it out myself. I really do feel like it has to do with some past life shit. Like, it has something to do with their past. There was, a, like, a lot of darkness. Something that happened. And, I mean, it could be... And I feel like for a cancer to trust and open up and just let all of the information about what happened in their past soar out like that, cancer has to do a lot of work to trust someone with that information i don't feel like anyone knows what really happened to them in the past like this is something that they've been holding on and this is a chapter that needs to be closed do you understand what i'm saying like this is a chapter that should have been closed a long time ago um yeah because i feel like because of whatever this is you see them chameleons on the side i feel like cancer just been going on just changing who they are being different people being a different person with different people you know what i'm saying like they don't like i said being unusual is not good enough you must be remarkable remove yourself from contact with ordinary people the world is the dance floor of the creator do you understand god created you to do something else and to be something else but i feel like you you you've allowed shit something to affect your purpose and you just got lost like you you fucking got lost anyway so let's go into the love situation for my Couples and my singles. Oh, it looks like I picked up the couples first. Okay, come on. Couples. Let's get into the meat and the potatoes for my couples. But I feel like with this past life card, with this world card, I feel like you're going to have to change once again. You're going to have to change once again, but... You're going to have to change once again, but you're going to have to face and answer and address. And you're going to have to talk about whatever this is that happened in the past because this shit's going to keep resurfacing. It says sexting will make their day. Fuck. It says sexting will make their fucking day. 
send a pic. So if you're in a relationship with somebody, okay, or you're thinking about courting somebody, it's saying to send them a sexy body little pic. Whoever you fucking with or whoever it is, they like your body. They like your body. They want to see your body. It says do the damn dishes, okay? I feel like it's time for y'all to clean up. Do the damn It's time for you to wash up. It says, soaking is not fucking washing. <laughs> hey, father, that is hilarious. And then it says, your ass needs some help. Ask for it. Hire it. Make it happen. We can't be all things. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, my hands itching. That mean I'm getting money? So... I feel like you guys have been kind of holding back. Like, you want to reach out to someone. And you want to send them a picture. Because I feel like that might have been y'all's thing. But I feel like before you do that, you feel like you need to clean something up. You need to clean yourself up. Or you need to clean up your environment. Like, before you just go snapping pictures and shit. Make sure your living room and whatever's clean. And you ain't got no dirty dishes. And you ain't got... You understand what I'm saying? Like, make sure that you got a clean environment. Most of all, clean thoughts and a clean body. Remember, I was telling you about water and all that stuff like that. Give me more guidance and love for my couples. I hope I wasn't saying singles. Who I know who this is to watch. Watch it be my own man. No. <laughs> anyway. It say, friendship. Nurture the bond of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. I feel like I got to go back to being friends. Whoever this is that you're in a relationship with or you're thinking about courting, I don't think that this is an actual relationship. I think this is someone y'all are thinking about courting. It says your ass needs some help. Ask for it. Hire it. Make it happen. I feel like something is like beyond you or what you can do. And, like, you really do need some advice from, like, an expert of, like, remember I said you cannot go around this. You have to walk through this. You cannot try to weasel your way around this bullshit. If you want things to happen and be the way that it's supposed to be, you have to be bold enough to walk through this. But for some reason, I feel like cancer is fucking scared. I don't know why y'all acting like that. It says embrace through each other. You'll find missing pieces. And that is the whole thing. Like why cancer has been going through their shit is because cancer needs this person's energy. But I don't think that this person wants you to feed off of their energy. Cancer, you have to be for yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like Okay, it's, oh, secret admirer. Wow, it says someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. Oh, wow, real, real, real. Ooh, 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 ooh. It says balance. Love is not all the way about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So, and you see how she all up behind him, all kissing up on it's not, bitch. That's me. I'm sorry. That's how I that, be. I be riding smooth up on my niggas like that. Be like, come here, boo. <laughs> anyway, but I feel like there's someone that you have a friendship with that you might try to want to embrace, or that might be. I I think that this is the cancer. This is the cancer. Like it's someone that you guys want to court. And you want to kind of start off as friends. Or maybe y'all started off as friends. And through each other, y'all found y'all missing pieces. Like, that's your soulmate. That's your soulmate. And I feel like you're secretly admiring this person. But the only thing that you need to understand is that a great relationship both is supporting and it has challenges. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I feel like... Whoever this person is, is going to push you, but they're pushing you for the better. And it's just, I feel like cancers don't like nobody telling them what to do or something like that or whatever. Like, they always want to do things on, I don't know, listen. It's like, 
I feel like this part, it says I just got caught up in the moment. This is how the cancer feels. I feel like this cancer might have pushed this one away because this one was trying to push them to their greatness and like, no, you need to put out better work or you need to, and it's just like, man, shut up. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like this one might have was trying to push in cancer to get better and cancer didn't like that shit because they felt like they knew what they was doing. And went out looking for this attention and planted a seed elsewhere. And this one wasn't having that. I expect better from you. I expect loyalty. I expect harmony. I expect you to act mature. Karma is a bitch and I finally got mine. Cancer saying I got caught up in the moment. Karma is a bitch, and I finally got mine. I told you this whole reading was about you facing karma. Last card. How is cancer feeling? It says, I can't give up on my responsibilities right now. We already know this, a child. We already know that. Cancer got themselves into some shit they can't get out of. It says, I thought about reaching out to you, but then I stopped myself. Like I said, this person ain't ready for the interrogation. They don't know what to say. Only thing they can say is calm as a bitch. Now, just because I'm curious, let's see what this person has to feel about cancer. Because I know cancer would be interested in knowing that. How does this person, how does she feel about the cancer? She or he? It says, I will make things right between us one day. One day, things will be back. It says, I'm sorry I held myself back with you. Yeah, this person hasn't been talking to cancer. You've affected my life significantly. A lot of signs are pointing to you lately. So I feel for this woman. I feel for this woman or this man or whoever this, this person is that um, has been on cancer's mind. That they're asking for the second chance from spirit from. I feel like this whole I feel like this whole bond between you guys was to teach each other about karma and life lessons and what goes up must comes down and pay attention to how you moving you know what i'm saying you pay attention pay attention oh let me let me okay i'm jumping ahead of myself i'm about to go to the singles um i ain't even finished all right so let's let's see what let's see what's about to pop off in the future for my couples in love feel like the cancer is in a relationship i just feel like in their soul they still feel this connection with this person so they don't never look at they never looked at this person as if they were gone you understand what i'm saying what's coming up in love for my couples pathway hmm It's like cancer is going to walk that path. Their journey. Cancer is fucking coming. <laughs> cancer is motherfucking coming. Bitch. In more ways than one. <laughs> Let me. Ooh. Lordy. 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 Cancer is coming. But like I said. They got concerns. Because they scared of what this person is going to say. What they're going to have to say. They're going to have to address this baby. The snake like be. It's a lot of shit that they're going to have to talk. I mean a lot of shit. And cancer is concerned. But cancer is coming. Distant horizon. This shit is going to be happening within the next month and a half. Distant horizons mean the next three to six weeks. Next month. Month and a half. They're coming. Because they... They feel like it's a certain level of wealth and abundance in making this journey, in this pathway, in this journey. I feel like there was like 
a lot of soul searching. Like I'm trying to tell you, Cancer has been to their self thinking a lot. And it's like when they come this time, they're anchoring their self and they ain't going away this time. I really do feel like they learned their fucking lesson. They don't even want the attention no more. Like it caused so much drama. Do you understand what I'm saying? And like 777 means that um Oh, I forgot what that card says, but it says like there's going to be major shifts and changes in your life that's going to come with karmic lessons or something like that. Um, the number seven means withdrawal, means to gain wisdom, to spiritually um, be in tune with yourself, to analyze, to come to some type of understanding and contemplation. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I feel like through these trials and tribulations, it elevated the cancer to bring them this great wealth. And you see 11... You know, 11, 11, I, I mean, a lot of people, they say that's the soulmate thing, that twin flame thing. And Cancer feels like this woman is waiting on them. Cancer knows that this woman is expecting them. Hmm. Interesting. So let's, let's, ooh, no, hold on, ooh, no, 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 ooh, hold on. <laughs> I didn't see these cards down here, baby. We got the house, and then we got the gift. I definitely feel like cancer is going to pop up at this person's house. But they're going to show up bearing gifts. I really do. I feel like it might be a fucking marriage proposal. I'm dead ass. Like, I'm dead ass seeing that. Like, cancer might just pack up all that shit and just show up at this person's house like man fuck all this bullshit i'm sorry i learned my lesson can we get married i just i don't want nobody but me and you like can we move i just look <laughs> like seriously i feel like it's gonna be a wait though because cancer has to deal with this they gotta deal with their responsibilities it says again i can't give up on my responsibilities right now but i surely feel like cancer is going to find a way they want to come back home to this house especially if y'all lived with each other before what is this the six of pentacles oh being caught oh being caught oh 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 my God. And the Knight of Wands. Oh my dear God. Y'all. Oh! Is the horse's penis a wreck too? Oh my dear Jesus. Hold on. Can't see running around out here with a horse dick. God damn, Sea Biscuit. You running around out here looking like Sea Biscuit? You got. Hold on. Does, does your ears hang low? Do they wobble to the floor? God damn, this nigga. What the fuck? Okay, anyway. Okay, listen. I feel like. I feel like cancer is leaving. Cancer is leaving. Both of these cards is look at the pictures on it. It's like someone getting caught being with someone else. You see this? The Six of Pentacles. Now the Six of Pentacles can denote someone given to two remember that you see the moon card you see this person having sex with a man and shooing him out the window hmm interesting interesting I really do feel like there's someone that there's a secret going on I feel like there's this woman, there's a woman that has like two lovers or something like that. There's a woman that has two lovers. I mean, this is two men. I mean, look, the woman, two men. You understand what I'm saying? This man walking in, catching the woman with another man. So for some of you guys, if you guys are in a relationship in the cancer male might have had some suspicion as to what's going on with the woman that they got 
in their house. I feel like someone that they might currently be dealing with on some type of sexual level might have somebody else that they're dealing with too. And then you got the five of cups right here. Look, you see her, her feet getting stroked by someone else. I feel like this shit is going to bring a big dose of sadness for the cancer to see that this woman is being courted on by someone else. I feel like this is ever someone if cancer is in a relationship. Because now I'm, oh my God, because this is getting messy now. This shit is getting messy. And then you got that Knight of Wands right here too. You know that Knight of Wands. You know what he's about. He's about that action and stuff like that. But it don't never last long. It don't, it don't last long. It don't last long. It don't last long. He's not committed. He's not committal. Karma is a bitch and I finally got mine. I feel like it's possible that maybe someone that the cancer was in a relationship with, he caught his lover with another lover in the, in the house. Like this person was sleeping with another man in their bed in their house. And I feel like cancer is heartbroken about that. Like this woman, like this woman kept coming home with new shoes, new purses, new shit. And like cancer knew good and God. You see how this man is putting shoes on her feet? What they say, don't never, don't never buy a man shoes or he walk out your life or some shit like that. I feel like cancer might have bought this girl some shoes. And then she was allowing some other dude to buy her shoes. And he knew he ain't buy that shit. I feel like this person that they're with is fastly moving on with someone else. And I really do feel like this is why Cancer is saying karma is a bitch and I finally got mine. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. So let's go on over here to my singles. Mmm. Mmm. I'm not gonna do that because I'm about. Mm -mm, I'm not. About, I'm not. <laughs> and the spirit is saying, "Bitch, lab, don't say that shit. Don't say what me and you just discussed in your head. Just laugh. Don't say shit." It says, "Where the fuck is your sense of humor? <laughs> this shit ain't funny, though, Mo. This shit ain't funny. Not nah, cause dead ass. I'm gonna say this. Whose baby is this then? I'm dead ass serious. Whose baby is that then? Cancer caught this person cheating. You understand what I'm saying? Or ever this female. No, because this is a female. This is a female cheating. This is a girl cheating. This is a girl cheating. Bruh. Do you understand what I'm saying? I, I'm trying to like. No. So ever you a female. I don't know if there's a man that's dealing with a cancer female or something. Laugh, my nigga. Laugh, laugh. But this, listen. <laughs> Let me go this for the goddamn singles. Father God, give me guidance for the singles. Lord Jesus, I'm all over here getting baffled and bewildered by the couple. Shit. Lord Jesus. Cancer always do this. And watch this video be an hour and a half long in the name of Jesus. Just trying to figure out what the fuck is going on with y'all. Give me guidance for my singles. For my singles, singles. It says, take a fucking trip, baby. It says, go see some shit, do some new things, talk to people cooler than you are. Like it said, being unusual isn't enough. You got to be remarkable. You got to hang with people that are in a position, in a plateau where you want to be. It says, you need a good fucking cry cancer. Get that ugly cry on. Let that shit go. Your soul will thank you. Yeah, you guys need a trip where you could kind of just be secluded and by yourself and kind of deal with your emotion. It says, fuck, shit is about to get real. Fuck, you need your people around you. What? Ooh. In the name of Jesus, what the hell? 
What in the hell? We're going to have to go right here. We're going to have to go right here to the tea, baby. Because mm -mm, what you mean by that? Clarify this shit is about to get real. I need to take a trip. What's going on with my singles? The privileged lady. Okay. Her honor. Okay, what's wrong with that? Community. Uh-oh. Might be some. Ooh, the wealthy man. What the fuck is wrong with that then? Listen, okay, listen. Y'all need to take a motherfucker. Listen. Singles, come in. Come in. Come closer, goddammit. Come a little closer. Y'all need to go take your best shit and go somewhere where there's a lot of like, I, I want to say politicians, but I'm from D.C., so of course, you know, I'm going to tell you to go to the cigar bar. But go somewhere where there are a lot of high influential people, people where you want to be. Go there looking your best dress. I do feel like you're going to be out in the community, in the social setting, and you're going to bump into a wealthy ass man. Do you hear me? Shit about to get real. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I feel with get this fuck. You need your people, cause bitch, you gonna be on the phone like bitch. I understand. I just better stay. Girl, girl, girl. Give me guidance and love for my singles. Come on, cancer. What's the answer, baby? What is the answer, baby? It says, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows to give. So listen, when this one, this wealthy man understand, this one is busy making money, okay? He can't be all up under you 24-7, okay? So love doesn't claim, it just is. Do you understand what I'm saying? Let it be what it's going to be naturally, okay? Because this is a hardworking man. It says, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is deep as an ocean. Oh, oh, ooh, 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 look at him. Look at him. Ooh, you might be dating another water sign too. Oh, oh, is, is he a Scorpio? Real, bitch. Don't you do me, bitch. Okay, anyway, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me clarify, this is the last spread. Because, like, the singles, y'all not getting no messages from the twin flame, dog. Because that's going to be some trigger shit. We at, uh -uh. If that's what you want, come on over here and try to maybe see if you can assert yourself over here with that shit. Because singles, we ain't met our man yet, or we ain't met our woman yet, so we don't know what the fuck they saying, okay? So, we ain't doing that. So, mm. Lord Jesus, let's see what's going on once we take this trip, Hansei. I thought something flipped over. Okay, psych your mind like shit. Psych your motherfucking mind. Give me guidance. Mmm. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So Cancer is like, how the fuck can I go? <laughs> how can I go on a vacation, sweetie? I ain't got no money. And my clothes, I ain't got no fancy ass clothes like that. I feel like this person like intentionally fucked your shit up. I feel like whoever you were last dealing with, whoever you were last dealing with, I feel like ever it was some petty shit going on and like whatever clothes that they had that they bought you, like they took everything back. Um, and maybe you just don't have a lot of nice, fancy clothes. Like, you work really hard and you might be going through some financial struggles. So you're like, I'm not going nowhere looking, looking raggedy. My money ain't together and stuff like that. But I really want to encourage you to don't worry about that. The tower in reverse. Like, yeah, you're going to avoid any type of, you're going to avoid any type of distract, dis disaster or disruption that may can cause a negative impact on you know what I'm saying this trip like you like you feel like you ain't got no hot no hot clothes or nothing but you still pulling up looking like the privileged lady it's like it's about your aura it's not about your money like people that really give a fuck about you they don't care about your or, I mean, they don't care about your money. Do you understand what I'm saying? They're still going to stroke your ego anyway. I really do feel like even if you just look past that and still go out anyway, I still feel like you're going to get what it is that you want. What is this? The Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. 
you going to be riding on top. It's about you planting the seeds and being patient and waiting for the right results. Do you understand what I'm saying? And number one, don't put yourself down just because your money ain't the way that you want it to be. Like, you can still go out there and show the world. Ooh. What's this? The Queen of Wands. God damn. <laughs> The Queen of Wands, baby. Listen, let me tell you something. You still a bad motherfucker. <laughs> ah. You bought that action. You still a bad motherfucker. And I feel like when you get out there, baby, you gonna get, get, get it, okay? You gonna get, get, get it. And a lot of people gonna be jealous of you. Because you gonna be the hot commodity on the block. You ain't even got no fancy clothes. You ain't got no whole bunch of money. But, honey, you still the privileged lady. And they still out there holding you in high honor like shit. Okay? Where this shit go? In high honor? They still holding you in high honor. <laughs> oh, my God. But she's just slutting around, though. Wow, she is slutting around. You see how the other dude running down and stuff? He was like, I thought it was my turn. Brother. Listen, when you go... <laughs> Help me, Jesus. Listen, don't y'all be slutting around. My buddy, my buddy, my buddy and me. Bitch, don't you be being no damn. <laughs> don't you do it. What is this, the high priestess in reverse? Yeah, girl, don't you do it. <laughs> Look at this high priestess card. You see how the man in the back is stroking off. Like, it, girl, I feel like whoever this is, this cancer fee, I feel like whatever the fuck you done did in the meantime, in between time, you look good. You look good. You look good. And I feel like. But this high priestess was in the reverse. It's like you guys feel like kind of powerless. Um, I really do feel like you guys, you don't feel confident um, because of your dress, because of your attire. You know what I'm saying? It's like you avoid it. A disaster but financially you might have ended up in financial ruins and stuff like that and it's like you want to kind of avoid um, embarrassment because I feel like you're going to go into this arena and you're going to think that all oh, these other people they're going to have better clothes than me they got better jobs than me and this this and that but they don't look better than you they don't have a better personality than you and everybody wants you ain't nobody looking at your fucking clothes so you stop looking at your clothes and carry yourself in high honor like you're the privileged lady as long as you believe that you're the privileged lady and you carry yourself in high honor and you going out there in the community and you having fun bitch you gonna go from rags to riches you are what you eat if you're feeding yourself that you ain't good enough that you ain't have enough clothes you're not gonna be good enough you not you understand what i'm saying but this is something that you gotta see for yourself this is something that you gotta dig deep within to recognize can't nobody help you with that that is something that you have to honor yourself and find out on your own you understand what i'm saying you being unusual is not good enough you have to be remarkable you understand what i'm saying the fact that you even coming through the place like that you understand what i'm saying you ain't got the best shit on you ain't got no whole bunch of money like that you it, it's already unusual but you came through and being unusual and motherfucking remarkable they ain't never seen the motherfucking broke down ass bitch that ain't got no whole bunch of fucking coins coming and fuck a club up the way that you did bitch you understand what i'm saying you ain't okay i'm going on. i'm going i love y'all cancer if this video resonated y'all hit that like button y'all hit that subscribe button if y'all want to book a reading y'all send me a message on instagram or y'all email me peace